I literally have one straight hair. What is that? And why is it attached to my head? Pastel pink in the sunset. You know I never want to make you upset. How did I become so upset? That bitch cannot dance. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a curly hair routine. Um. I woke up like this, it's a mess, so don't, don't judge me right now. Um, the look we're going for today is this look. This curly hair routine is based on that look, so stay tuned if you want to see that. I get countless comments from you guys and countless DMs about what I use in my hair, how I do my hair, what do you do to your hair, is your hair natural, do you perm your hair? My hair was permed like a year ago. I have completely chopped off that hair. I was, I was bald. That's, I completely chopped it all off. Now, we're um, like exactly a year into growth. My hair grew really fast. This is like exactly a year, a couple days ago. This is natural. So I don't wanna hear shit in the comments talking about you got a perm. Like I had a perm like years ago, but like this is my natural hair so don't come for it. I am black. I have a lot of people telling me that I'm not black. A lot of people, some people think I'm Hispanic, some people, think I'm Blasian, some people think I'm white and black. I'm I'm mixed with half white and half black. I'm Jamaican, Greek, and Italian, um, which doesn't really matter because just because I'm black and white and you're black and white doesn't mean the curly hair routine's gonna work for you, but hopefully it does. Ew, what is that? I know I look like a bag of trash right now, but it's, it's gonna get better, like it's, it's gonna get better. Before we get this video started, make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button so you can get more tips on how to, you know, Fix that. The hell you think you're talking to, ho? Stuff you're going to need for this curly hair routine. Um, hair. <laughs> you're going to need this comb. Um, this comb is by Tool Structure. This is the comb that I use on the daily. Oh, it has hair in it. I'm so sorry. It has like a little space in between it. I think it's called a wet comb. I saw some other YouTubers calling it a wet comb. You could get this like a lot of places. Just look it up on like Amazon or something. This comb definitely helps like if your hair is really knotted, which mine is like, do you see that? Do you see that shit? It's not gonna work like magic, but like it definitely helps over those like normal like flat combs. You know what I'm saying? Like don't get those. Don't get the pancake combs. Next thing you are going to need is this conditioner right here. You guys saw my last video, I used Moroccan oil and <laughs> I called it the expensive shit because it's fucking expensive. I found that this works with my hair better. Um, It's made with Moroccan oil, so like Moroccan oil just obviously works with my hair type. This was like three or four dollars and it lasts pretty long. I was getting like small ass bottles like this big for conditioner at like Sally Beauty and like places like that and they literally last for like three days and I feel like the other ones ripped me off because they'd be like detangle your hair like super easily and like that shit would be stuck in my hair like this detangled my hair and there's a lot in it so I could use a lot more of it I don't have to ration my conditioner something unique about what I do personally to my hair you guys are always asking for my curly hair routine so this is what I do I use two conditioners in the shower most of the time um also by Tresemme this one's curl hydrate though um, it does kind of what it says, curl hydrate. That's like basically what it does. It's just like an extra thing I add secondly after I have my hair fully combed out. You don't have to do that. You could get either or, but that's what I use. As for when I get out of the shower, disclaimer, I don't use product. Um, I'm not against product, but like I just don't use it. My hair doesn't need it when I get... <coughs> My hair doesn't need it when I get out of the shower. I found that when I get out of the shower, my curls look the best. I don't want to like run products through my hair with my fingers or anything like that because my hair is pretty tight. So if I touch my hair, like it's going to dent like that. Like you see, I slept on my face and you see how this shit's lifted up like that. Like it's a mess. Like I don't like to touch my hair when it's wet. If I do use a product when I get out of the shower, which I usually don't, but if you want your hair to like smell good or like look a little bit more shiny, I use like one of the spray ones that you could find at the store, like an oil or something like that. For instance, this, I got this like two years ago, but um, this is like one of the, like, the fur examples like that you could just like spray on your hair. <laughs> oh, see, it smells good there, even though I just sprayed it like right on my tongue. My haircut, you guys were asking for my haircut. Okay, so um, we know I have the iconic eyebrows that so you already know by date. Um, on my haircuts, I get a low fade. Um, It's been like, four days since I got my last haircut, but it's 
pretty much still there, you know? I get a fade um, from here, and then on this side too, and I bring it around here. I don't obviously cut the back because I want to look like a lion for some reason. And the fade like right here. Um, I'll insert some pictures from my Instagram if you want to like show your barber a picture because that's how I usually feel the safest when I'm showing my barber a picture. I don't line up the front. I have like baby hairs. Like I, I just don't like to line up the front because my hair goes like this anyway. So there's really no reason for me to line up the front. That's basically all the information I got to tell you before I show you the visual in the shower. So now I'm going to show you the visual of me actually combing out to my hair. And I'm going to voice over and guide you through it because y'all be lost. About how I comb my hair, when I put the conditioner in, how I prevent breakage in my hair, everything like that. Okay, so after you get your hair wet, I take the first conditioner that I showed. I use a decent amount of it in my hair. And I try to get the conditioner all around my hair with my fingers first, taking all the tangles out I can with my fingers before I go in with the comb. I ring everything in the direction that I want to have my hair going in. So for me, I want my hair to go forward. As you can see, this comb, it's kind of harder to comb your hair through with. Uh, the double bristled comb that I was showing before is way easier to get the tangles out and stuff like that. So I start going into my hair with that and I use my fingers to get the tangles out instead of ripping through with the comb. Um, I make sure to comb the back all the way through. I comb everything forward because I want my hair to hang forward and it tends to drop down. So in the back, it'll drop down naturally for me. After you get all the tangles out, this is when you're going to wash your hair out while combing it forward, uh, at least whatever direction you want it to go in. So I wash everything out with the water going over my head at the same time I comb it. This is where I use the other conditioner that I was talking about, like the last time I used a decent amount of it, and I try to distribute it evenly throughout my hair with my fingers first, and then I go in afterwards with the comb. This time though, I'm not really focused on the tangles because like before I got all the tangles out of my hair, now it's just mainly the volume. I'm trying to put it up more so my hair is not as flat when I wash all the conditioner out. Now with the conditioner in my hair, I shake my hair pretty vigorously and it might look stupid, but you could see the before and after my curls definitely start to pop when I shake my hair. I don't know what it just makes my hair look more curly. You can see the left side is shaken, the right side isn't, and it's just definitely more defined curls. Now I wash my hair out. Um, I don't touch my hair when I'm washing it out. I just shake it with the water going over. After you wash all the conditioner out, you're just going to let it air dry and I'll be back with the results. What's up? So we're back with the final results. It's fully dry. Um, didn't take that long actually to dry. I thought it would take longer. I didn't put any product in it. I didn't touch it when I got out of the shower. I just let it air dry. And these are the final results. Oh, wait, wait. So therefore, if you have a friend at home that has musty curly hair and they wear it to school all the time, like in that crappy ass bun, guy or girl, send them this video and just like discreetly do it. And at the end, they might be a little offended because they'd be like, why'd you send me this video? I hope this curly hair routine helps you and be sure to subscribe down below and check out my Instagram at official Kenneth Sky. I'll be posting there weekly. So hope you guys like the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. What? What phrase? What? He was just, he was just talking all that shit.